This video I'll show you guys how to scrape the tweets of any profile here on Twitter. Today I'm showing how to scrape the Andrew Tate profile. But actually you can do this for any profile here on Twitter. So basically what we are doing, we are just going to the profile, we are scrolling and getting all the tweets and then we are scraping them or actually collecting all of this text that you find here on tweets. Most of the people use these to learn or use them for the data collection or their statistics or whatever they need. But this video actually learns you how to do this on Python and we are going to learn a bunch of new things. It's going to be very short. Let's start with this project right now. First, make sure you have Python installed in your computer. It's very easy. Just go to Google and search for Python download. I am assuming that you have it already downloaded. I am already using VS Code as a text or code editor. First, let's check if you have Python installed. So just open terminal here in your computer, your Mac or Windows command line if you are on Windows. And then I'll just type Python 3 to check if I have Python installed, here is 3.12. Then uh, Control and Z to quit this uh, terminal or this uh, interpreter. Then I'll go ahead and create a new folder for this project. So first I'll change directory to the desktop, CD desktop, because I want to save it here. And I'll create a new folder called M with mkdir uh, tweet scraper. I'll just close this terminal or minimize it. And here on VS Code, I'll click file and open folder and navigate to the desktop and open this folder Twitter scraper. I'll click this button plus here so I can create a new file and I'll call it run.py. Here on VS Code, click on the terminal menu and click on new terminal. So we have an integrated terminal here below and we are going to install first some prerequisites. Just type pip3 install and we need selenium and also web driver manager i think this is all we need for now and just press enter and they are going to immediately get installed and here on the file on the code i will minimize this for a bit and we are going to start coding so first we have to import some stuff let's import web driver from selenium from selenium import web driver. So also we need the Chrome driver and we can do it. We can get the Chrome driver automatically from the web driver manager that we just installed. So from web driver manager dot Chrome, because we only use Chrome import Chrome driver manager, and I'll call it as CM. So the short name CM Chrome driver driver manager. So now let's create a driver driver equal to web driver dot from. Inside here, the braces will put the services or actually where we're going to find the Chrome driver. So first, let's import the services from selenium.webdriver.chrome.service import service. And now let's create some services. So service equal to service that we just imported. And here we'll put the executable path and executable path is actually going to be our uh, Chrome driver manager that is going to download automatically. So CM dot install and here is going to automatically download and install the Chrome driver. And inside the Chrome driver here, we are going to uh, equal service to service that we just created. Uh, so service and service. If you don't really understand what I'm doing here, you just go ahead to the description, you'll find a link if you want to learn Selenium or Python and everything that I write here. But for now, I'm, I'm assuming that you know some stuff. So I'll just show you how to scrape. Then we just created the driver and we are ready now to go to the link. So I'll open here on Chrome, I'll go to Chrome and I'll open a new incognito. So I'm not logged in and I'll go to the Andrew Tate, I will search for an Andrew Tate, Twitter, Twitter profile. And I'll open the link here, the first one. And here is the link of the profile of Andrew Tate. So I'll copy the link, I'll go to VS Code. And here I'll go to driver dot get and load this link. So this is what this is going to do is going to open the browser and go to this link, then I want to wait for some times. And because we want the website to load, we are going to import first here on top, we are going to import uh, time and I'll use time so to sleep or to pause or delay for some seconds. And I'll do just five seconds. So load the page wait for five seconds, then after we go to the page, you want to scroll so we can get as much tweets as we can. So we want to scroll and to scroll, I'm going to scroll about five times, I think just five scrolls. And to do the scrolling, we are going to use JavaScript. So uh, 
we want to scroll five times or so I'll create a loop uh, for I in range in range five we want to scroll so I'll go to driver dot execute script and the script is going to be JavaScript so uh, to scroll in JavaScript we do this so window window dot scroll by and here we, we put two numbers one is for width and one is for height so width is going to be zero and height I'll put 2000 so when to scroll 2000 pixels down then we'll scroll and we want to wait for some times for every scroll so we scroll we wait for one second we scroll or not one second 0 0.5 seconds and then we'll wait for some times when they scroll again after scrolling five times let's go to twitter we scrolled five times we got some tweets what we want to do now so here on chrome just right click and open inspect because we want to inspect or to find the path or here on dom on the, this is DOM or the HTML of the page and here we want to find where the tweet exists so where is the text of the tweet what I want to do here I'm just going to uh, here on the, any tweet I'll click this picker here this is the element picker and we'll go here on the page as you can see it picks the elements and here I'm going to this div so try to find the div where the text is so we're gonna find here and I, actually I'm going to use this element here on DOM this element and I'm going to right click and we'll click on copy and xpath so I'll use xpath for this and just to test here we can press command and F or control F here on Mac and I'll paste this uh, xpath here in the finder this is going to open the finder and we'll show you uh, you can use it to find any element so here on the on the beginning of the xpath I can remove this ID just remove and leave just two slashes here and as you can see it's still showing one of one results here so here on the beginning of the page we will remove the ID actually you should search for a number here so here on this div you can see this number is six so if you remove it you'll show here zero zero results as you can see but here that we are living it empty we can just remove the brackets the, the square brackets here and just remove them completely and now as you can see we have all the results because th that div that we just removed the number is actually removed what we uh, just specified so for example if we go to this the first one it will go div here will be one and if we go this is the first tweet but if we go to the second tweet here it will be two this will be three and this will be four and so on so we just removed actually the path or the actual number or index of the of the tweet on the square brackets and now it shows us 13 results as you can see so we get all the tweets that are here on this page and if you press enter multiple times you can see it scrolls down through all of them and it loads even more so as you can see now it's 15 and if we keep pressing it will load more so what we're going to do now here on this expat that we have on the search box I'm going to this is the final xpath I'm going to select it all with control a and I'll copy it then I'll go to the VS code and here what I want to do I'm going to get all of these elements and to get all of the tweets I'll call create a new variable called tweets equal to driver dot find elements so here's find elements and we're going to use xpath but to use xpath we have to import by here so by I'll explain you what is later so first let's uh, import it from selenium dot webdriver dot common dot by import by so what by does is that by is like a picker that we do so we can use by dot and it shows you all the options that we have class name css selector id name but we want xpath because we just found xpath then comma and here we paste the xpath make sure to be just quotes not double quotes here because it messes up sometimes with the xpath so just paste the xpath it's a long one and then uh, after that just go down here and now we have all the tweets now I'm going to check or I'm going to loop through all all of these tweets so for tweet in tweets uh, I will just print the all of them so 
just type print and I'm going to type to just print the text. So what's inside the tweets, the text of the tweet. Now let's go ahead and test this all of the code because we type, write some code, but we didn't test them. So let's go ahead and open terminal and to test them or to run it, just type here Python 3 and the name of the file, which is run.py, then press enter. And what this is going to do is going to open the browser, will go to the link of the an Android hate profile, then it waits for five seconds the page to load. As you can see, it's scrolling very fast and it shows us an error. The problem here is it was just tweet, not tweets. Actually, I, I missed it. So just save it again, run again. So it's scrolling down and as you can see, we got some tweets. So as you can see, we got all of the tweets of the Andrew Tate. So what we want to do in these tweets, I think the best way possible is just go ahead and save them in a file. So we can use them or save it or we can run this script repeatedly and uh, we can just get all the tweets or the new tweets that Andrew Tate posts. So what we can do is to create a new file and save them a txt file, for example. So to create a new file, I'll go ahead and just type file equal to open and open the here we put the name of the file. So it will be just tweets.txt and put comma. And here we're going to type the the type of the file that we want to do with it. So if we want to write in the file, so we want to write some text, so we'll put W here. This is the access or permission of the file. And here, instead of printing, what we can do, we can just go ahead and save them in a the file. So file dot write dot write. And here I can write, I'm, I'm going to put a line just so we can understand where it ends. In the end of the line, I'll go to a new line of uh, of the file, then I will add the tweet text. So the tweet dot text. And I think I think we can also add another new line. So here, uh, I think this is going to be great. So if we can make this larger. Okay, then after we save all of them in the file, we want to close this file. So file dot close. Uh, I think we've done with the script now, and everything should work. Okay, so let's make our last try. Okay, as you can see, the script created a new file to tweets.txt. And if I click on it, you can see that we have the tweets here and they are separating by lines so we can understand where a tweet starts and where a tweet ends. So this is the tutorial for the day, guys. Hope you learned some stuff here. We did a lot of things. And actually, if you are interested about learning Python, learning Selenium, learning automation, social media, you can find a link on the description uh, that you can just go ahead and learn from me anything you need automated social medias and scraping data and making money and making money and growing your business using social media automation and coding. So thanks for watching. See you in the next one.